Good morning and welcome to season 2 episode I have forgotten. Uh, might be episode 8. I try to ke uh, keep uh, track of the episodes, but I, I'm sorry, I just forget. <laughs> like, it's, it's like so simple, but on the other hand side it's not. Um, so, what did I upload yesterday? Uh, okay, it should be episode number 7. Yes, so episode number 7. Welcome here. Now we wasted half a minute of your life. Um, yeah, today we want to paint some more of the uh, inquisitorial retinue. Um, probably the admiral, which should be fairly fun, hopefully. Um, and I could also think about continuing the city, possibly. But that's like up for um, which one of the two I enjoy more. Furthermore, I printed some bases. You might have already seen the bases in the other, in yesterday's vlog, because it was just done when I was just grinding through it, and I thought, we talk about it tomorrow. So here we are, painted bases. I want to uh, make bases ready for the inquisitorial retinue. I have stories for all of them, so yeah, at least for the inquisitor which, as we all said, or I said, would be him. Um, that aside, the calendar is doing well. I, today morning, already started a uh, print, which takes 33, no, 35 hours, which is insane, because that means that it will be done tomorrow at between 7 and 8 o'clock in the night. Um, yeah, that's, that's just insane. But we should get started. I don't want to bore you. Um, we just get down to business. I make some bases ready. I uh, make the one figure ready and we will see each other afterwards. And here we have it. Yeah, I think I forgot um, recording how I painted them, but I gave them a white coat of this um, chalked uh, white. Um, very simple. A bit thinned down, but yeah. So it is very interesting. And then I just gave it a coat of noun oil. Uh, and now it's like dirty down, and I think it. It's really fitting, if you ask me. Sure, the base rim still needs to get black, but after that it's done. Um, we finished him yesterday, we finished him yesterday, and today we finished him. Let me turn the light on again. Ah, better. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about them till now. Next is probably him. He will get a very interesting uh, paint scheme, if you ask me. The coat will be mostly black, um, while this fabric, I have no idea what color I want to make it yet, but 
the insignias will be most likely a silver or gold, probably gold to show his high uh, rank. Um, I want to lose the inspi uh, inspired on another enemy's uh, color scheme again because I think they just work well and are most of the time pretty simple too. So yeah, that's that's something I want to do. I talked in the introduction about maybe continuing the city, maybe continuing this stuff. And I'm not sure which one I want to continue. Um, I'm honestly not sure. So I guess I will start him just with the black and then we will see where we end up at. Um, yeah, and then we will see what we have time for still. So let's get going. I played around with the design a bit and I think I came up with a good idea, I should say. I started working on the city again because I thought, yeah, you know what, I painted enough for today. I should work a bit on the city where we can also paint, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, first of all, I have a little of these crates here now. Just why not? Like, it doesn't have a reason, it's just there. Um, to make it a bit more cloudy. It actually covers up two windows, but who cares? Um, it's poor. It's a poor region. Um, next up is on this side, probably more interesting. We put the trash there the last time. We still have to give it a bit more paint, but that's minor. We have another of these containers here. Who knows what's in these containers? They could be private, they could be from the state, they could be from companies. Who really knows? Like, we will come up with a good story at some point. Maybe it's where people get food. Maybe it's where the military stationed some kind of hidden ammo crates or something like that, which would be pretty dumb, but yeah. Um, and then we have these, uh, this little story that happens here. So we have this mouse, um, which is like a tank from the Second World War, to be exact, a German tank. Um, a bit ridiculous one. Uh, I think he, he weighed 100 tons. Um, so he is a bit heavy, but I really enjoy the design of this, especially of this one, because he has so many different things on it, like an anti-air gun, which is like just hilarious. Um, and he had a little problem. I don't know what exactly yet, but you will have some mechanics working on the motor in best case. And then we have these bikers who were um, escorting the mouse through the streets because it was just making a routine drive through here possibly even. And now it had this malfunction. Actually it's very realistic because the mouse tank actually uh, had a lot of problems with its motor. Um, the Ratte, the um, P1000, uh, would also look great here, but would definitely not fit on the streets. Even the mouse is a bit um, on the slim side for these streets, so it's good that it's in this alleyway, hidden a bit too. Uh, there are no doors here, even though this masking tape is here, there's no door behind it. so. It's not like in front of anything, which would be a bit unrealistic. Uh, it really is at a great position, honestly. Um, 
and these bikes these ones are already looking here and these ones are currently driving towards this side to block it off here to have no civilians come in here one looking through this um, alleyway uh, to make sure no one is approaching from there these two one with a sword and one with a pistol gun whatever looking in this direction and these three which one of them is a gen uh, their general uh, going in this direction making sure that the back is also safe so I still need someone who is repairing the tank and possibly even one two or maybe three um, infantry models who are protecting it too yeah that definitely needs some more printing my girlfriend will enjoy it but I am at least looking forward to it yeah let's continue um, I'm thinking about painting this one now maybe the the tank too I have a color scheme for it will be um, a beige brown with a red top and then all the details sure but I already talked too much so let's get started After a bit of university and also a bit of waiting due to it being wet still, um, I finished it. Uh, it's not dry yet, sure, but I finished the first step. These ones then get a good coat of, not Agrix Earthshade actually, but instead um, Cryptic Armor Shade Gloss which should give them this um, wear and down look and really make them look old. That's also why I deliberately applied the paint in an uneven layer. Um, he will definitely get more details like on the side and everything that it has will get detailed also the top but the base colors are down now. That's good. Um, but sadly due to taking pretty long everywhere and also uh, doing some other stuff today still that is not related to uh, miniatures. My girlfriend said I should show that also on vlog, so maybe I do that tomorrow. Um, but due to that, we are now done for the day. Um, I want to paint the base rooms at some point, I should definitely do that. Um, but yeah, I would say we are done for today. We did enough, hopefully, and I wish you all a great night. I hope you had a great day. I know I did. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow again.